Let's go to uh, the best political team on television. Joining us now, our senior analyst, uh, Jeff Tubin, Jack Cafferty. They're both in New York, uh, as well as our senior political analyst, Gloria Borger, here in Washington. Uh, did it work for him today, Jack? Uh, I don't think we know the answer to that yet. I, it was a good speech. If you haven't seen it or, or read it, you probably should. This is an articulate, bright man who's got uh, some things to say that we probably all should listen to. Uh, that being said, though, my, my gut feeling is that it may be too little and too late, that the damage has already been done to Barack Obama. The news media, primarily television, for the last week has absolutely fixated on this story. And we have run, all of us, those clips of Pastor Wright over and over and over, thousands and thousands and thousands of times, hour after hour after hour, day after day after day, uh, for the better part of a week. The cumulative effect of that kind of media exposure of those little snips of videotape is not something to be taken lightly. And it's probably going to take a lot more than one speech on one day for Barack Obama to overcome that, if in fact he can overcome it at all, I'm beginning to wonder. Gloria? Well, I thought at the very least you have to say it was authentic, transparent, very clear, did something politicians hardly ever ask us to do, which is to think about our lives, ourselves, our country, our history. So I think he did a very good job at enlarging the entire frame of the conversation. I think the question that Jack is raising and the question that remains out there is what did he do about those questions closer to the ground? And that is, in talking to lots of Democrats today, the question still is, he didn't disavow totally the Reverend Wright and, and gave us uh, his reasons, but politically, that question is, how is that going to play with those white, working class, male voters that he is trying to attract to both seal up uh, the nomination as well as win the presidency? And I do think we don't know the answer to that. Jeff, what do you think? Well, I think it was an absolutely superb speech. I think it was one of the smartest, most interesting speeches I've ever heard from an American politician. I also think he's in better shape than uh, maybe Jack and Gloria do because, you know, I have never heard of an American politician or any American public figure for that matter being forced to vouch for his minister. That has never happened before and I think the basic fairness of the American people are going to kick in and say, wait a second, why should he defend everything uh, that this pastor has ever said? And, and I just don't think this is going to last as a big story. I, I think what's important today, though, Wolf, is that we learned a lot about Barack Obama. The American public, probably most folks haven't read his books. They don't know who he is. They don't know his history. They, they really don't know about where he came from. And we, see, we saw a man today trying to bridge uh, uh, the black and white communities to trying to get us to think a little differently about race and to start the conversation which is which is what we're having right now whether that continues across the country in a good way uh, or, or or in a in a in a terrible way you know remains to be seen uh, you know race is an issue we we need to talk about all right guys uh, it's gonna be a subject I'm sure for down the road but we're gonna move on uh, from this subject other important issues coming up as well stand by